Hello everyone, I am Anuj Nakade and you are watching Live Law. In this video, we bring you news from the Gujarat High Court about Narayan Sai, the son of the self-styled godman Asaram Bapu. Narayan Sai was arrested in December of 2013 in connection with an FIR alleging crimes under several allegations such as rape and unnatural offences, assault or criminal force with the intent to outrage a woman's modesty, wrongful confinement of a person for 10 or more days, voluntarily causing hurt, insult with intent to provoke breach of peace, criminal intimidation, act induced by causing a person to believe that he will be rendered to object of divine displeasure, criminal conspiracy, harboring an offender, provoking a riot and abetting a crime under the Indian Penal Code. In April 2019, a Surat court convicted Narayan Sai and he was sentenced to life imprisonment. Narayan Sai then filed an appeal against his conviction in 2019 and the same is pending before the Gujarat High Court. Narayan Sai has been in prison for over 9 years and has been released by the authorities on temporary bail in 2015, 2019 and 2022 and once on furlough leave in 2020. A furlough leave is given to a prisoner under the Prisoners Act 1894 and related laws in cases of long-term imprisonment. During a furlough leave, it is treated as if the prisoner's sentence has been remitted. It is a leave given to a prisoner with good conduct to counter the negative impact on a person's life due to long-term imprisonment such as alienation from familial and societal relations. As a result of this extended time in prison, about 9 years, in May of 2022, Narayan Sai approached the jail authorities with an application saying that according to prison's Bombay furlough and parole rules of 1959, he is entitled to a second and third furlough leave. After getting no response from the authorities about his furlough leave for nine months, he approached the Gujarat High Court with a writ petition seeking a reply from the authorities regarding his application for furlough leave in 2023. Soon after, in February of 2023, the authorities refused furlough leave to Narayan Sai. So, Narayan Sai's writ petition was amended to challenge the order of the jail authorities denying his furlough leave. A single judge bench of Justice Nisha Thakur heard the matter. During the hearing, Advocate Zubin Bharda represented the petitioner. He argued that the petitioner has already spent nearly 9 years and 8 months in custody and has been released on temporary bail and furlough four times in the past. In these four instances of release, no instances of disturbance to public peace and tranquility were reported. He contended that the apprehension expressed by the authorities regarding Sai's potential disruption to public peace lacks any basis. Meanwhile, the respondent state authority had rejected the application of the petitioner seeking furlough mainly on four grounds. First, the persistent threat to the witnesses in the other pending criminal cases. Second, criminal antecedents of the petitioner. Third, his conduct in jail. And fourth, the apprehension that he may abscond to another country. Additional public prosecutor advocate R.C. Kodekar highlighted the unfavorable jail conduct of the petitioner as reported by the jail authorities. The court also noted the order denying furlough leave mentioned reasons such as negative opinions from jail superintendent and Narayan Sai's alleged engagement in illegal activities within the jail premises. Examining the record, the court noted that the petitioner was involved in multiple incidents of threatening witnesses, assaulting individuals and engaging in illegal activities within the jail premises. The bench referred to several incidents including threats against investigating officers and the incident of the complainant and her husband being assaulted. The court also noted that Sai had previously been found guilty of abusing the court process by submitting a fake medical certificate. Making these observations, the court found no error with the order of the state authority. The court said and I quote, if one who has been found guilty of such an offence is released on furlough, there is no guarantee that he will not indulge in similar activity as soon as he is enlarged. None of the twin objects of punishment of imprisonment would then be served. Neither would he be reformed, 
nor would society remain immunized from his criminal activity. It would be dangerous to the society to release him on furlough merely out of considerations of penal reform and humane treatment. The Gujarat High Court has decided to refuse furlough leave to Narayan Sai. That's all we have for you in this video. If you want to find out more about this case or read the order of the Gujarat High Court, please visit our website at www.livelaw.in. We will also leave a link down in the description to the full report and the order. If you found this video informative, please leave a like and tell us in the comments how we can shape our content to bring you your legal news in more engaging ways. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for notifications. Thank you.